Welcome back, mathematicians. We are playing Shadow of Mordor. And I just fast traveled over here so we could get into the storyline really quickly. We're gonna go try and kick the hand, the, the ass of the black hand. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I don't know what to explain right there. Attention, starting this mission will take you through the end of your journey, but once you finish, you'll be returned to continue where you left off. Serious? Is this it? Is this really the end? You have returned to Nern to discover that the Black Hand has been here before you. Is this really the end of the game? Oh my god, I suppose I got all those side quests I could finish. Oh, he's pissed. Here we go. I think, I hope. <laughs> Holy Christ for loading screens. Right, 
storm the black a First talent of the hand. Wait a second. That was oh man, we have opposing talons. That's the name of my gang. I was starting the the talents use. <laughs> I think this is the idea, just flank him. Monster Slayer. Whoops. Whoops. Nice. Drain him. That's why now I'm stronger every day. All Uruks kill. Oh, crap! Not good. I want this relic here. <laughs> ouch. Ouch. Really ouch. That actually hurt a lot. Nice. Oh, sweet. We're doing all right. <laughs> oh, holy crap. That guy just ran out of nowhere. <laughs> so much for all your talk. What the hell does that mean? Come back to me, oh Lord. Hold on a second here. Let's take a look here.
available for purchase. Hmm. Uh, I was hoping for some epic ones. Not very good relics. Alright, reach the top of the black gate. This will finish as it started, with shadow and flame falling on the black gate. The hammer and the tower are dead. Sauron is still weak. Without the power of the one ring or the ringmaker, he cannot take form. He will be trapped within Mordor, no more than an eye of flame bound to his dark tower. And at last I can die. None will avenge me. Okay. How's that in the background? I'm really curious about some of these background audio clips. What the hell is going on? There we go. Sweet. That was brutal. The Dark Lord gave you a second chance to stand by his side. Now I give you no choice. We shall be sealed together in death. So be it. Return to me, Ringmaker. <laughs> Uh, 
Holy fuck. I'm pushing buttons, dude. Oh, man. For the love of all that's holy, don't tell me that is the entire last fucking boss. <sighs> yeah, we did it. High fives all around. Awesome. Awesome game. Really was awesome. But I gotta be honest, I think the last three bosses were just super disappointing. Okay, the white Grog was disappointing because the first Grog we fought, we used this chain tactic with um, the dwarf. That was that was pretty good. I died a few times. You know, it was, it was difficult, but I liked that I had to do something the uh, white grog, the big white grog, was just dodge, kill ghouls, and beat them up. That was it. That was it. The tower wasn't even really that hard either. It's just stealth drain him. I mean, you had a timer, right? So you couldn't just lollygag. You had like seven minutes to go through it. You know, you'd have to find him. But if you got nice audio, I mean, I don't even have the best audio, I got like the $30 simulated surround sound earbuds from, who are they from, Philips Magnavox, you know, but I can hear that the guy's behind me, turn around and there he is, so if you got nice headphones, or some, you know, nice surround sound system, you'll be able to find him, that makes it pretty damn easy, and then... Sauron wasn't even that hard. You know, the the other the orc battles weren't really that hard. There were a lot of orcs or uruks. There were a lot of them. But it wasn't really that hard. Up against the talons, it was it just seemed like it was pretty easy to to flank through, run through as you flanking them and slash and do that. It, so it's like the the bosses Posed the least amount of challenge. The last three bosses post posed the the least amount of challenge, and the entire game it was it was a really really good build up to a really really weak uh, end. I just thought the I thought the ending was really weak. Um, overall, though, the gameplay is fantastic. I really enjoy the Nemesis system, and uh, I think this is a game that a probably have to go through and play more of a sound you know before I went to that last last quest it sounded like I get to do more um, so I'll probably end up doing that because there's more to do with the side quests and all that other stuff 
25, maybe 26 hours of gameplay total. If you're just going right through the story, I suppose uh, it probably would be less because um, I lollygagged the first, gosh, I don't know, 10 hours of the game just going through side quests. Uh, but if you're just going to go through the story, um, it's a pretty short game. Overall, even though it was the Xbox 360 version and there were terrible graphic glitches at times, I would say the the, the game's fantastic. Um, I definitely would recommend this to people. I would recommend them getting it on a newer console, but I would definitely recommend this game. I just, I'm a little disappointed at the last three bosses. They were um, underwhelming, to say the least. So, can I go through this these credits any faster? Boom, boom, nope. Boom, boom, nope. Let's just finish watching this credits and uh, see what uh, comes up after that.
Congratulations, you have defeated... What the fuck? I didn't even get to read that. I'm gonna... Oh, here we go. Congratulations, you have defeated the Black Hand of Sauron and driven Sauron back to the ruins of Baradur. However, the Dark Lord's shadow remains. Hold back the rising tide of his army by continuing to hunt captains and war chiefs. Res rescue the remaining outcasts trapped within Mordor. Discover any remaining secrets and collectibles and complete the legends of your weapons. Except. Alright. Nice. Mordor Flame is back. Ability point gained. Select command will dominate any captain and compel rooks to fight one another. Awesome. Okay, so... Lamelo Corpse Eater, where am I? Okay, I think I'm in the first map. And then, do I get to slide over here? No. What is this? Artifact, artifact. I think I'm in the first map. Yeah, Akoth Shield Masters. Oh yeah, travel the Sea of Nernin. Nice. Nice. So now I just get to play the game, complete all the other quests, all the side quests, and uh, do all that other stuff. Oh, let's take a look at the the war chiefs here that I have here. Oh, they saved my my war chiefs where I was um, before. Before I left to Nernin. Awesome. That's cool. So time kind of didn't pass over here. That's really, really cool. Now, I like this game. I really, really like this game. Uh, you can see all the money went into gameplay here. And it, it really turned out really nice. But I, I have to be honest that uh, I don't think this is like a 10 out of 10 game. I'm just so underwhelmed by the last three bosses. Uh, and by the last three bosses, I mean the the Great White Grog, the uh, um, the Tower, and the Black Hand. Like those those three were just so completely underwhelming. The very first run in with Sauron's army, the Hammer, is the absolute best boss in the entire game, in my opinion. I mean, you have to fight the guy. All right, the the setup is. He's there, and he has this small troop of rucks, and you got to fight him. But that's key, because you actually get to fight the guy. And, you know, it poses a, a challenging... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a challenge to fight the guy. Later on, you know, there's the Graug, and I thought the Graug fight was okay... Um, you know, it's really hard. You know, I can imagine it would be really difficult to fight a Graug. But you got your little Wolverine dwarf buddy who's sitting there gaining the attention of the Graug. So you can uh, shoot him in the mouth and stun him and then go beat him up. Eventually, you know, you beat him up and then you, you get the chain from your little Wolverine dwarf buddy whose name I forget because I just kept calling him Wolverine. And then you got these quick time events to uh, chain him up and then brand him. And then you get to ride the Grog for a little bit, which is disappointing because that's the only time I ever got to ride the Grog. You know, it's a, like it was like a tutorial mission that went nowhere. So, you know, I understand, sort of. Um, the first Grog fight was cool. The Great White Grog seemed just like completely different. Your Wolverine buddy is doing jack, and he's still there with you. And this Grog charges at you, bumps into the wall, gets stunned, then you go beat him up, and to to make the fight shorter, you beat up the ghouls so he doesn't eat the ghouls, and you get bonus points for shooting the ghouls out of his hands. Big deal. That's not like a really challenging boss. In, in any way, it's not like a challenging boss at, at all. The tower, I thought was just, you know, it, it was nice, it was... I, I, I don't know. It was interesting. The environment about it was really interesting. But you don't really get to fight the tower at all. You just run around and stealth drain him. 
big deal. I don't even remember if there was a quick time event. I think there was not a quick time event to actually put in the, the, the final blow. Big deal. Uh, maybe there was. Oh, that's right. I had to hold B because he was doing that drain on me. It wasn't awesome. It wasn't awesome. And then with the black hand, it was abysmal. I thought, like, Jesus, it's just quick time events. It's like three quick time events to win the game. So you push a button because it looked like they had the, the first quick time event automatically centered. So you push the button. You gotta move it over, push the button again, and then I think you push the button one more time, and it's game over. Dun dun dun. And I just thought, you know, I felt a little bit cheated on those final bosses. Like they could have reused the hammers mechanics. Like take the hammer and just put him in all of the other ones. <laughs> you know, so maybe I could beat up the tower and then stealth drain him. And then he would go back, and then I could beat him up again, and then stealth drain him. I think that would have been better. Same thing with like with the black hand. I don't know. It's just those three battles, those last three battles, really disappointed me. And then with the big war, uh, the the fights with the Uruks, I was a little underwhelmed there too. With the talons, which I was surprised that they actually named them the talons of the hand. It just seemed like all I had to do was flank back and forth to get a good advantage. Uh, everything else, though, everything else, though, is just really awesome. The nemesis system, going in, infiltrating the, the orc armies, and uh, doing all that. You know, so I'll, I will definitely play this game again, but I'll be playing the good parts. <laughs> the, the good part is, is like, the, the rest of the game. And uh, it's just a little underwhelming that the last three boss fights were terrible let's be honest they were terrible but this ends my playthrough of shadow of mordor uh i may or may not upload more footage of me playing this game probably not because it's it's done now but uh i hope you enjoyed it i absolutely enjoyed the game i guess i would i would say it's a 8.5 out of 10 because the last three boss battles were just they didn't do it for me it was just such a huge lead up. It was a build up to nothing. Really, really weak. And uh, I'll probably play some other games. I got some bunch of Steam games from in uh, some uh, indie games. So uh, maybe see those in the next episode. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this channel yet. Uh, more games for sure. I'm just not sure which game. Until then, mathematicians. Bye.